laptops being a last line of defense for threats such as data encryption attacks, securing access to your backup environment is especially critical. In this brief demo, we'll take a look at the new role-based access control features within the Kasten K10 UI. In this environment, I've configured Keycloak to act as the identity provider for K10 using OpenID Connect authentication. In addition to OIDC, K10 also supports Active Directory via LDAP and token-based authentication, including direct integration into Red Hat OpenShift and Amazon EKS. We'll begin by logging in as our backup administrator, Jen. Jen has been assigned the built-in cluster role of K10 Admin. This gives her access to all K10 operations across all namespaces and capabilities like creating new storage profiles to export backup data to cloud storage. As we move into the new user roles screen, you can see I now have the ability to manage both roles and cluster roles. We see here our built-in roles as well as role assignments or bindings. As a native data management solution built on Kubernetes custom resource APIs, K10 is able to integrate with Kubernetes RBAC controls out of the box. The 5.0 release exposes this functionality through the UI to create a simpler management experience for administrators. Let's take a look at the first custom role that I've created. By selecting read, write, and delete access privileges through the UI, I was able to quickly define a cluster role for my database administrators that's going to allow them to create new backup policies, as well as restoring applications from available backups. We don't want these users configuring infrastructure or location profiles, deleting existing policies, and most importantly, they should not be allowed to delete any backup data. We'll save our role and next look at how I'll assign this to my database administrators. We'll create our role binding by clicking New Assignment, providing a name, and in this case, I really only want my database admins to see the applications that include a stateful database. So I'll select the appropriate application namespaces, followed by the role that we just created, and finally specify the relevant user group from my identity provider. We'll save that assignment. And you can see that because we've created application specific assignments, a role binding has been created in each of the selected namespaces. Let's create an additional role for our developers. We want these users to be able to create new backup policies to ensure that new projects are protected from the time of creation. But again, don't want them to be able to delete any policies or data. And in this case, we don't want them to be able to restore without engaging the operations team. We'll go ahead and save this role and then create a new cluster role binding using the IDP dev users group from Keycloak. Next, we'll do a quick test of our custom roles. Logging in as our intrepid database admin, Carl, we should now only have access to the applications and policies we defined as part of the role assignment. As expected, if I try to delete one of my existing backup policies, access is denied. If I return to applications, I should be able to view all of my available restore points for each application. There they are. So let's go ahead and select one, and I should also be able to initiate a restore operation for that application. Logging in as our developer, Joey, we first see that I'm unable to access any of my application restore points or initiate a restore operation. However, I should have the ability to create a backup policy for my Postgres application. I'll select a frequency and note I'm also able to view the list of available location profiles to export my backup data. Of course, our user can choose to skip the K10 UI altogether 
and simply define their backup policy in YAML and apply it via kubectl or an existing automation solution like a CI CD pipeline. Not sure which permissions you'll need for your own roles? Visit the link on screen for a full breakdown of the K10 API. I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at how we're improving the experience for our Kubernetes native RBAC capabilities in Kasten K10.